even remember somebody mm-hmm. on the camp confidence group ask dun sa ano dun sa dun sa group does anybody remember which episode Ayin and Riza read their manifestos <laughs> and I was like oh you remember <laughs> you remember <laughs> And welcome back to another episode of the Year Ender ng Camp Confidence Radio. Yay! Happy end of 2021, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us for the past year. This has been a life-changing year for both Riza and mm-hmm. I. And we we're really grateful that you guys were part of this. So, maraming salamat mga madam, mga madam. Always, always grateful. Thank you. Hi, ayan. <laughs> so, for this episode, since this is a year ender, Riza and I will be talking about our lessons for 2021. So, we listed down five each. And we are just going through the list so that hopefully these lessons, you know, will serve as lessons na rin for you. So, di nyo na mapagdaanan yung pinagdaanan namin. Uh-oh. I mean, if you can avoid it, right? <laughs> we, make, we make mistakes so you won't have to. <laughs> mm-hmm. We learned these lessons. <laughs> yeah. For you. Hi. <laughs> so, madam, I think you should start. Mm, so, yung, sige, ano. so ano, salita na lang tayo, madam, ng lessons. These yeah. are exciting lessons na. Okay, on to my first lesson. First lesson of 2021 is that you do not need to earn rest. So, it's our birthright. Birthright, wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hindi mo... Um, Rest is need. part, yeah, it's a basic need. Sleep is a basic need. Your food, your health, your off, your offs are there for a reason. Your VLs, para sa ating may mga 9 to 5, your vacation leaves are there. Take it. Sa atin namang mga entrepreneurs and freelancers, we always, our boundaries are there for a reason. So, Ayun nga, hindi, hindi mo parang let's change our mindset na okay, I need to work, 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 work para makapag-rest ako. Ano talaga, dapat part na yan ng schedule nyo, part na yan ng system nyo to rest. So, I learned this the hard way this year um, kasi lagi kong sinasabi na till um, check on the telltale signs of burnout. Pero minsan, ako talaga yung hindi sumusunod. I do not heed my own advice. Um, minsan, I really go overboard. Minsan, mm-hmm. um, when I'm parang in the zone, talagang hindi talaga ako titigil mag-work. But, of course, alam naman natin detrimental yun sa health natin. So, there were months wherein... Uh, sobrang wala akong gana mag-work, wala akong gana, parang tulog lang ako ng tulog, na parang, alam ko na talaga na signs yun of burnout, pero hindi pa rin ako nagpapahinga. But, yun nga, it's something that I'm continuously learning as a recovering workaholic. Uh, Q3 and Q4, finally, uh, talagang in-instill ko na sa sarili ko ng Riz, magpahinga ka. Riz, play or riz have fun kasi naalala mo nun madam parang lagi akong na anxious na parang oh i can't have fun because i have so much responsibility yeah the guilt no that work guilt that alam mo yun na kailangan wala talaga parang yun yung isa sa mga hardest lessons ko this year na hindi ako makakapag-alaga ng iba kung hindi ko talaga aalagaan yung sarili ko Kasi, ayun, mahirap, mahirap kapag parang when you cross the line, there's no turning back. Na ang hirap bumalik sa being the productive me kapag mm-hmm. na-cross ko na yung pagiging burnout ko. Parang, ah, uh, hindi and talaga I productive. And um, it's also a good reminder na just because you are working towards something, hindi ibig sabihin, um, excuse yun to not rest. Kasi you build that habit of resting early on. So I guess like now, you're having a hard time because sinanay mo sarili mo na f- because you were hustling so much. Sanay ka sa ganong classing lifestyle na output mo is based on how much you don't rest. Na, 
I think um, it would be beneficial for our listeners, especially those starting out. Now, if you are starting out palang with your career as early as now, make sure that that's an integral part of your life. Otherwise, ayan, may raman kayo, Madam oh, Riza, mag-pause. Oo, oh, oh. wag, wag nyo na kaming gayahin. <laughs> wag na sana kayong umabot sa ganitong state na yeah. pagod na pagod ka na, tas ayaw mo na lang mag-work. Ganun. Tsaka, <laughs> nagigilty. Yun kasi, ang mahirap dun is, Um, na instill yung I guess yung habit na feeling guilty when you rest mm-hmm. when in fact you shouldn't be guilty about it it's a basic human need like we said and it's something na essential for you to actually fulfill your responsibilities so rest is something that we should prioritize mm-hmm. um, speaking of that ako, another thing that I wish I also prioritized was my health Um, when I was in Miss Universe, grab it talaga. Pinospone ko yung nipin ko. Which I guess, I don't know. I feel like I never really expanded on that. But it affected me so much because I had to let go of jobs na I, I really wanted to do because of a toothache. Imagine, uh-huh. like, it, it sounds so elementary, a toothache, ganyan. Pero the reason why I got that toothache in the first place was I postponed my dentist trip for two months because of Miss Universe. Sabi ko, oh, I don't have time right now. I'm gonna worry about it later on. But then by the time na natapos yung pageant and I had time to go to the dentist, as in, nag- patong 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 ng complications na now I have like a PMD problem I also have like a uh, hindi ko alam baka kailangan iparoot canal na yung ano ko eh so parang nagpatong patong siya I really procrastinated that part and now that I felt the effect kasi I thought na you know I I should put work first kasi my health can follow naman pero what happened was I ended up um losing some jobs because I had like so, so much pain as in madam yung interview with boy abunda I know <laughs> iyak ako ng iyak nun, guys as in I had to I missed the panel with Tito Boy kasi Tito I boy. had a massive toothache as in like I woke up actually I didn't even wake up because I, I couldn't sleep as in mm-hmm. I spent the entire night at my office watching YouTube videos on how to um, stop toothache. I said, I, I had so much ano, painkillers in my system. And then by the time na kailangan ko na pumasok sa meeting room, I could not. Because I was just crying. I could not even let go of my cheek. It was so bad na inisip ko, ano kaya nangyari if I didn't procrastinate sa part na to. So yeah, don't Ewan ko, aging ba to? Parang akala ko kasi I used to be invincible. Eh. Akala ko, you know, like my body will always take care of itself. I'll always be okay. It's not true. <laughs> my gosh. Nangyari na ba yun sa'yo, madam? Na yung katawan mo na nagsabi sa'yo na pansinin mo naman ako? Actually, madalas. <laughs> Talaga? Ako rin Parang... back pains. Back recently pains. alam mo feeling ko ito na yung periodic maintenance natin with our yes. age kasi dati nung mas bata pa tayo okay kaya to puyat g three hours of sleep g parang alam mo yun parang ngayon talaga yeah. hindi na kaya <laughs> it might be with age but also i on hindsight parang na, na feel ko na if parang naisip ko what if inalagaan ko yung katawan ko nung bata pa ako mafi-feel mm-hmm. ko kaya to ganun. so yeah. um tama never procrastinate your health always do your um general checkups um mm-hmm. for freelancers marami ng mga ano ngayon mga uh, what do you call that Uh, health cards, health cards mm-hmm. na ano affordable prepaid ngayon so i think you can look into that as well kaya rin actually ito yung um kinarir kong pag-ipunan sa office na magkaroon ng health cards yung mga staff ko kasi yun nga totoo talaga na health is wealth dati nung um, may 9 to 5 pa ako i used to you know 
wala lang hindi na ako attend ng general check up kasi katamad ganun mm-hmm. mga, alam mo yun parang but no if you guys were are blessed with a health card please go ahead and take those yes. general check ups kasi you'll never know kasi mal- ako kasi grabe yung tolerance ko sa pain and I feel like yung mga pain ko parang minor lang pero mm. complicated na palagan. For example, yeah. sa UTI, parang um, for some reason, uh, kapag nare I get tested, yung doctors parang wala ka pa bang nararamdaman sa ganitong level of UTI? Kasi yung iba talagang hinihimatay na with this. Sa parang ako, mm. uh, konti lang po. Ganun. So, what if hindi ko yun pinacheck? Di ba? Mm. What if hindi ako pumunta ng doctor? It would it might lead to serious complications. Yeah. So, yun nga, tama. Never procrastinate your health. Oh, ito. Mm. I don't wait. I mean, ako, I'm still pretty young. I'm 27 years old. So, I, I, I really don't feel like I'm old. But at the same time, I am trying to look at my future. And I just want to protect that future by taking care of what I can take care of right now. So, on to my next lesson. Uh, speaking of boundaries, uh, I learned na you really have to work hard and protect how you spend your time. Kasi madalas, lagi natin sinasabi na, oh, I don't have time to meal prep, or oh, I don't have time to read a book, or uh, I don't have time to, you know, write a, a blog or shoot a vlog. Uh, I realized especially now in 2021 I just really need to alam mo yun, uh, protect and create better systems for my calendar for myself kasi parang dati I parang I create excuses na ah okay hindi ko naman kaya mag workout eh kasi mm-hmm. ano alam mo yun madam parang yes. sobrang busy ko lagi kong sinasabi uh-huh. na sobrang busy ko who's got time to work out or who's got time for if you meal made time this yan. year Pero yun nga, parang I think it's our power to control how we spend our time. Kasi kaya yun eh. Kaya, kaya kung gagawan mo ng parangan. Yeah. Um, you can uh, maybe cut time sa maybe scrolling on social media or maybe... Say. Uh, or maybe cut your next Netflix series. Hindi ko naman sinasabing cut everything out. You can maybe still indulge in one to two episodes maybe. And then, kung gusto mo talaga, kung ano talaga. You can multitask. Um, I can multitask. Oh my gosh, ngayon hindi ko na kaya mag-multitask. Ewan talaga? Ko. Like watching? Watching TV, ganun? Ah, ah kami ni Josh. We still Mm-mm. lunch date while watching Netflix. Actually, mm-hmm. yun lang yung Netflix time ko. I still watch Netflix every single day. Pero parang mga one to two episodes lang talaga literal while having a lunch date with Josh. Mm-hmm. Kasi sacred talaga yung lunch dates namin ni Josh. So, yun. Pwedeng ganun. Uh, kaya magkakaroon ako ng time to work out. Yun talaga parang it's a commitment for yourself din kasi especially if you are building your habits, healthy habits, ganyan. Kasi early 2021, I wasn't even working out. Period. Okay, yoga lang yeah. ako. Parang parang sporadic lang yung ano ko, yung yoga, pwedeng okay, mm-hmm. hindi, ganun. Kapag feel ko lang. Pero ano talaga eh, commitment siya. And it's a, parang, it's a pact with yourself. Um, and always, always protect how you spend your time. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Ito, madam. Ah, yun pa pala, I delegated, aside from protecting, I delegated yung mga tasks din na mm-hmm. hindi ko talaga gusto. Number one, yung um, cooking and meal prep. Uh, lagi ko siyang dahilan na mm-hmm. I, I'm not eating healthy food kasi uh, wala akong time ng meal prep. So now, I started delegating my meals. Uh, tapos yung mga nitty-gritty details about the company. Andiyan na si Mary. Uh, my mm-hmm. social media. Uh, meron akong hinayar na social media manager, ganon. So, if you can also, if you have the finances to do so, please, please, please do yourself a favor and delegate. Yeah. And if wala naman, if you don't have the resources to do that yet, you need to evaluate what you currently have on your plate and see, okay, what's worth my time? What 
isn't mm. worth my time. Because yeah. realistically speaking, you know, if you have a lot of projects on your hand, hindi mo rin sila mabibigyan ng enough time. So honestly, what I learned, kasi syempre, starting as a solo entrepreneur, as a side hustler, as a dakilang raketera, uh, marami din akong ginagawang projects, pero hindi lahat equal ng return. So, what I learned was to prioritize what was going to give me the biggest return so that after noon, I can adjust the other one. So, for example, um, I wanted to be a full-time content creator, but then it was difficult for me. So, instead of um, focusing on creating too much content that hindi ko sustain, because it wasn't paying for itself yet, Binawasan ko yung content creation ko from three times a week. I lessened it to once a week, sometimes two times a month kasi yun lang yung kaya ko realistically. And then, I put my energy into building the business para I can slowly um, delegate that part. Kasi um, nung nag-focus ako sa business, eventually it grew kasi mas mabilis yung return doon kasi sa content creation. So, nung nagkaroon ako ng resources doon, I was able to delegate yung business, yung mga responsibilities ko sa business. So then, I freed up time so I can now work on my content creation. When I was able to do that, and then nag-grow naman din eventually, finally, nagka-return ako sa content creation ko, I was also able to delegate. So ngayon, somebody edits my YouTube videos na. So again, it doesn't have to be like one time, big time. You you have mm. you need all the resources in the world to do this, to do that. You're buying yourself time. Uh-oh. It's taking little steps so that one day you can free yourself of these um, minor responsibilities and choose the tasks that will be most beneficial to you and where you can create the most impact. Because yun nga, iniisip ko rin like, saan ba ako pinaka-effective? Like, we had this conversation before na as a CEO, like, what's your job? Is your job um, packaging supplies or is your job, ano, um, finding a way to grow the business, to expand? It's really expansion. So you need to delegate what um, is taking up most of your time that isn't really giving you the most return. So ayun, um, again, I know we have a lot of students listening, a lot of young adults. If you're not in the place yet to, to spend on um, delegation, find a way to get the, the fastest return so that one day you can delegate. Kasi yun, nagsimula kami talaga sa ganyan din. <laughs> we we're doing ano. everything ourselves talaga. Mm-hmm. Mahirap talaga siya and ano, tiyaga pat pa rin talaga and mm-hmm. compassion sa sarili. Na parang wag mong sabihin na ano ba to ang bagal-bagal ko kasi ikaw lang naman talaga yung gumagawa lahat. So natural, mas mabagal katulad compared sa iba. So yeah. Mm-hmm. And speaking of that, I also I guess want to go to my next one. Um, track what you need to improve is my lesson number three. Kasi, ay, sorry, two. That's my lesson number two. Kasi one of my biggest struggles <laughs> for the longest time was my finances, like my financial freedom, my financial independence. I really did not know how to do it. Kasi for, yun nga, for the longest time, I've been hustling, hustling, hustling. Freelance dito, freelance doon, start a business dito, start a business doon. And I didn't know how to do it. So, um, the one thing that really helped me this year was tracking my expenses, my cash flow, and being able to plan my my future, my spending based on that. So if you want to improve something, track it. So whether it's your finances or your habits or your schedule, it track mo para masundan mo. Kasi it's just so overwhelming to deal with a lot of information, with a lot of so nakaka-stress talaga siya kasi parang hindi mo alam kung saan ka magsisimula, hindi mo alam ka kung paano ka tutuloy. But if you have it on paper or on your screen or even better, on a spreadsheet, it's easier to see, okay, how can I make this work? So yun, um, for those who are starting out in their careers, who are starting out with their businesses, um, I hope that you can take time to 
put things into writing so that you can see kung ano yung mga gusto niyong trabahuhin and yung mga gusto niyong improve. Kasi yun talaga yung nag, ano, nagbago sa ano ko, like sa habits ko, sa financial habits ko, being able to see, oh my gosh, magkano ba talaga ginagastos ko a month? Yun totoo. Yeah. And like, given those resources, am I spending it well or should I just invest it on like, somebody to help me like should i start building my team instead of spending on this that so yun parang yeah i hope you guys can take time to track this coming year because it's really life changing yeah aside from um tracking na parang makikita mo kung nasan ka ba talaga it's also motivating kasi when you track mm-hmm. your yourself na parang, oh wow, I get to color this checkbox. Kasi ako mm-hmm. ang ginagawa ko with habit trackers. Ako naman habit trackers. Sabi ko kasi for 2021, I want to parang pile up on my habits. So say for example, um, yun nga, ano ba? Uh, moving, for example, yung sa health. Um, I get to shade a box, physical box, dito sa journal ko. Na, ah, okay, masishade ko yung box ngayon dahil nag-workout ako. Sa akin kasi, I'm the kind of, I'm a very visual kind of person. So, mm-hmm. natutuwa ako kapag may nache-check akong box or na, nasishade akong box. So, yeah. wala lang. Fun lang siya for me. Tsaka yun nga, um, also, to add on to that, I think you can also set parang KPI. So, key performance yes. indicators. Uh, again, with numbers and datas, data, sorry, and analytics. Ano, um, kunwari, in terms of savings na lang. So, yun nga, may kita mo doon na, kunwari, meron kang gustong pag-ipo ng laptop. Mm-mm. Pwede ka mag-start ng January kasi alam mo naman na nilalabas ang laptops ng Q4. So, pag-ipunan mo na. Um, ako ang ginagawa ko, I have a Google Sheet of parang budgets. Budgets! Yeah. Napaka-adulting ito. <coughs> May budget though. trackers ako. Tapos ano, so if I want 100,000 laptop by Q4, magkano ba dapat ang sinesave ko every month? para hindi ako magulpidigulat ng Q4 na oh. okay, maglalabas ako ng 100k. Parang yes, um, Admittedly, I have the resources, pero gusto ko pa rin talaga yung thrill na para oh my gosh, mache-check ko yung X thousand peso savings ko this month. Para, okay. Parang delayed gratification siya for me. And it's a really good habit to have, madam. Number one, delayed gratification. If you have, alam mo yun, if you can't um, manage your initial salary, it's harder to manage more money. As in, more money, more problems. So, you need to build that habit from the beginning. As in, mm-hmm. like, I had to learn that the hard way. As yeah. in, like, for example, madam, nung nag-ano ko, nag-Spain ako, di ba? So, when I was in the Philippines, I had less salary. Kasi, iba, parang medyo malayo yung difference. Nagkaroon ako ng bigger salary when I went to Spain, but I I barely saved. I mean, I saved enough, but it I wasn't on top of my my uh-uh. my finances because I really didn't know how to do it. So, like wherever you are at your financial journey, the habits are useful. As in kahit ano pa yan. Track everything. It's mm-hmm. really motivating and very mm-hmm. useful as well. Yeah. Speaking of finances, ang next lesson ko naman gustong ibahagi, 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 mo, ibahagi today is that in business, especially in business, cash flow is everything. Um, when I started being an entrepreneur, I said na okay kapag may mga suppliers ako, bayaran ko na kagat. Ganon. In full. Para wala na akong isipin. Mm-hmm. Pero pala, I learned latter part na of my business journey na kung kaya yung humirit ng terms sa suppliers nyo with zero interest, please go ahead and do so. Kasi yung cost of money, ang cost of money is magkano, uh, kunwari, you have uh, 10,000 peso credit 
sa ano mo, sa kung may credit line ka kunwari sa supplier mo. Um, if 10 if 1000 lang ang pwede mong bayaran, 'yun ang gawin mo. Kasi mm-hmm. pwede mo pang magamit yung 9000 more into maybe salary or adding more um, inventories, ganyan. So, uh, compared sa kung buong 10,000 mo siya binayaran, binayaran. parang mag- maganda kasi na lagi kang may napaparol yung capital. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung cash flow. Um, very, very important na as a company, as a business, you have to be very liquid. And always be on top of your numbers. I learned this the hard way as well, my friends. So, um, this year, this year, na ayan nga, uh, I thought na ako, ako kasi mas more of the creative side ako versus the analytical and logical side. So, I thought na okay, ida delegate ko na lang tong finances, accounting, blah blah blah. Pero Hindi pala talaga. As a small business entrepreneur like myself, you really, you really, really have to know your numbers. Yung customer retention mo, gano ba kadaming customers ang bumabalik-balik sa'yo? Important yan. Next is your reports. Always check. Pataas ba yung trend mo ngayon in terms of sales o pababa? Ano yung pwede mong gawin? Parang first sign na bumaba yung sales mo, dapat nagsistrategize ka na. Dapat, ano na ba yung kailangan kong gawin? Do I need to change my marketing materials? Do I need to change ads? Do I need to hire an influencer? Dapat yun nga, as a CEO, you have to be able to steer the ship ng company. Kasi ikaw talaga yung kapitan niyan. Dapat alam mo kung saan ka papunta. Alam mo, kunwari, wavy na yung mm-hmm. dagat. Ano na yung next mong gagawin? Parang first sign pa lang na, okay, mukhang may storm. So, kailangan ko na mag-isip. Ano nang kailangan kong gawin? Before patuluyang, alam mo yun, mag-dwindle yung sales na, alam mo yun. <sighs> yun. Gosh! Business advice. Oh, I'm taking that advice. Kasi, ay, isa to sa mga ano ko, ayoko na maranasan yun. Pero Uh-oh. that's also a worry of mine, of course. Mm-hmm. Like, ako oh, kasi, I'm I'm launching a new business January. Mm-hmm. So, can't wait that's to share right that. what that is mm-hmm. about. Pero, uh, yun yung, I guess, like, I guess to be honest, that's my weakness. Because I'm also more of the creative um, entrepreneur than I am like the the numbers entrepreneur but then you can't choose one unless you have a partner who's like equally invested na siya talaga yung in charge doon like you have a CFO or whatever yeah. mm-hmm. pa rin eh. like you still need to know that so Totoo. okay I'm gonna take that lesson from you madam and yeah get on top of my shit yeah and um, see. it will be it will be very intimidating but it's something we can all learn. Hindi naman na, oh, dapat kailangan PhD ka ng ganito, ganyan, mm-hmm. ganyan para malaman mo. No. Um, there are a lot of resources online, on YouTube, on Google. Do you have any suggestions, can... madam, sa resources With. to learn these things? Skillshare. Skillshare, my love. Yeah. Skillshare. Mm-hmm. Skillshare has a lot of, I know, Coursera then is okay. Yung mga free courses on business, on finance, ganyan. Kasi I know it's um, boring sometimes. Ka- kasi may mga people na number guys talaga sila. Mm-hmm. Ako hindi ako ganun. Parang it's more of parang ano ba? Oh, expansions, ganyan. Pero kailangan talaga siya. It's the boring part of business for us creatives. Pero mm-hmm. kailangan natin siyang gawin. Actually, madam, come to think of it, parang this 2021, medyo nag, ano ko, nag lay low. Lay low? Paano ba dapat? I don't know. I'm lay supposed low. to be the English lay, expert. Lay <laughs> but anyway, medyo nag lay low muna ako sa, sa learning. Because that's one thing that I really did 2020. As in, basa ako ng basa about like business, about content creation, about undaming stuff talaga na like life skills. Ang dami ko inaral ng 2020, ang dami kong courses. Tapos na realize ko na 2021, it's always been about execution. But losing that part of my life, you know, being able to constantly learn, constantly educate myself about new things, 
Um, dun ako parang nag-stagnate. So, thanks for bringing that up. Kasi, I'm gonna add that to my goals for 2022. I really wanna learn more and continue learning. Kasi, ayoko mas-stuck. So, I guess, going to my next lesson. Ooh, okay. So, this one is to be clear in your intentions and to always take a step towards that. Um, by that I mean, it's so important to write down your goals, write down the habits you want to achieve, write down. I'm just a fan of writing things down. I know some people are, um, some people say na parang, oh, I'm just not the kind of person who takes notes. I just have it in my head. Like in my head, I know it. Pero ano eh, like honestly, you'll get to a point in your career that you have so much going on. And if you really want to achieve a lot of things, make a lot of projects happen, you got to write that down. You need clarity. And if there's anything I learned, it's clarity that helped me um, kind of snowball this year. Because I've been crawling sa content, I've been crawling sa business for like many years. And then finally this year, it snowballed. It worked out. As in, lahat ng pinaplano ko, it worked out. And the thing that really helped me was getting everything into writing as specific as possible. So, I always had those things in mind, like the numbers I wanted to hit, how many people I wanted to hire, the, you know, the amount of money I wanted to make. Those things I was very clear with, not because kailan ko mahit yon for my, you know, for my own want or whatever, or dahil may gusto ko iprove. It was just so I was always guided. Whenever I would do something, I had that at the back of my head thinking, okay, am I going closer to that goal, to those intentions, or does it make sense pa ba to do it? Because sometimes ano eh, you'll be faced with a lot of opportunities na, na you think, okay, this might be good, this might be fun. But if you don't know what you want exactly, if you don't have clarity, it's hard to decide. So to take away the stress from deciding kung ano ba dapat mo gawin, kung anong kailangan mo i-prioritize, Know what you really want to happen and take a step towards that every day. Yeah. Um, honestly, yung goals for me is like your GPS. You know, mm-hmm. parang kailangan meron kang app na kung saan ka talaga papunta. So you key in your destination, that's your goal. Mm-hmm. And then there might be a lot of parang directions where to go, pero at least alam mo kung saan ka papunta. Mm-hmm. Hindi ka mag walang masyadong mga pit stops na parang would go to another direction. Mm-hmm. Tapos minsan yun nga, if there are forks or may mga dilemmas in life, yeah. um, you just have to look into your goals para din ma-remind ka na, ah, okay, ito nga pala yung goal ko ngayon. Mm-hmm. Yun. Yeah. I love I goals. Love I love I writing them. I, um, Actually, kasama siya sa routines ko. <laughs> for me, I, I wrote a manifesto. I've been writing manifestos for a couple of years now. And it really did help me to remind myself na, ah, okay. Ito pala yung ginusto ko nung early 2021. And actually, yeah. yesterday, I read my manifesto again. And I highlighted yung mga goals or mga gusto kong mangyari for 2021 and it really did uplift me kasi parang may mga days right now na parang ah oh, okay bakit parang wala naman akong progress di naman ako umuusad pero hey sinulat mo to first year uh, first month of the year and here you are now so grabe no that's why okay. i write goals i write manifestos Na alam mo yung ano two. binasa natin, madam. We we read yes. it at one point. I I even remember somebody mm-hmm. on the camp confidence group asked dun sa ano dun sa dun sa group. Does anybody remember which episode Ayin and Riza read their manifestos? And I was like, oh, you remember? Aww. You remember? Pero ayon, I also I look. At my ma- my manifesto, I read it again, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm actually what? getting closer to it." Mm. parang it's just nice to be able to see that because it, ano, parang 
even if I wasn't consciously chasing it, because that's the thing, eh? like if you let it run your life, it's hard to live. It's hard to enjoy. If yun lang at yun yung ginagawa mo, it's hard. But if you have it at the back of your head na you know in your heart na yun yung pinagtatrabahuhan mo, however slow it takes you, then, you know, you'll be okay. It's one way to feel less lost. Because honestly, it's such a it's such an easy thing to feel no matter who you are. Like, madali maligaw. Pero kung meron kang reason to, to look back, meron kang anchor to tell you kung meron kang GPS, it's always a little comforting to, to have clarity in those intentions. And speaking of intentional living, one of the one of my intentions for 2021 is to be to strengthen my relationships with my husband, my mm-hmm. family, my friends. And I one of the lessons I learned from 2021 is to create memories and because it will all be worth it. Kasi minsan, di ba, parang we have been holding on to that travel fund budget kasi, ay, it's too much. Mm-mm. Pero once na, kasi I treated ma, some of my friends, I treated some of my family members um, ng travel or ng stay. And it's something na definitely contributed to my happiness kasi when I, tagal na, na kami ah, sa family, sa family namin sa Lana. Sobrang tagal na namin nung last na nag-staycation or nung nag-travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pero, once na parang kinas ako na talaga na, sige, let's do this. Parang we stayed at a hotel recently lang for my brother's birthday. Tapos wala lang, parang I missed it so much. I missed it so much na magkakasama kami, ganyan. Of course, v- safely, friends. Travel mm-hmm. safely and responsibly. Uh, ayun, uh, hin- sobrang sulit, alam mo yun, mm-hmm. yung, yung time na ginugol mo to find a hotel, the money that you spent on it. It will all be worth it. Kasi wala lang. I like creating memories. Mm-hmm. Talaga. Yeah, that's beautiful. Ay, grabe talaga, no? Ikaw what... din, di ba? Oh, I, I also did that this year. Yeah. Nilibre ko family ko for the first time sa staycation. Uh, before, I, I really couldn't do that. I really, I've really i always wanted to do that kasi like growing up, we would always go on these vacations na my parents planned. Alam mo yun, like, ang dami yung mga local road trips. Uh-huh. Ano, magro-road trip kami sa Ilocos, magro-road trip kami sa pagkasemana Santa. Alam mo yun, like, ang daming uh-huh. ganun. So, it's like a, a really big part of our life to to travel as a family. But then, as I started traveling solo, I realized how much it costs, how much planning it takes. So, once I realized that, I wanted to uh, be able to do that for my family. So first time ko this year to uh, to treat them. It was so fun. Um, sabi ko, my, my ultimate goal, like travel with family-wise, was to bring them to Madrid. Kasi diba, I live there. And I really wanted to show them my life in Spain. So hopefully I could do that in the next few years. Hey. Natutuwa lang ako though, kasi it felt so impossible before. And now it's, I know. it doesn't feel so in- impossible. So. Hi. Yeah. Grabe, guys. Dreams so come true, to... my friends. Dreams, Dreams true. do come true. So I bad. promise they do. They really mm-hmm. do. It's just you you need to be unapologetic about writing them down, about speaking them out loud. Because you, you don't know sometimes what you're capable of until you allow yourself to give it a shot. Yes. Kaya pala. Katulad ng 10 years ko nang gustong magaglutes tapos ngayon oh my gosh madam <laughs> nagugrow na siya. <laughs> lagi siyang lagi siyang nasa goals ko, fitness goals ko to grow glutes. Ngayon medyo may baby na, baby glute mm-hmm. growth. So laban <laughs> lang mga madam, kaya natin to. Laban. You got this. Yes. Oh. Saya naman. <laughs> okay, ako na ba next lesson ko? Next lesson. Okay, I guess 
Um, speaking of yun nga, mga opportunities, uh, my next lesson would be to say yes to opportunities now because you can figure it out. Because oftentimes, you know, when we are faced with a decision, okay, should I go for this? Should I go for that? I feel like I'm unqualified. If you wait too long, you will be unqualified because you won't do it. So I guess the biggest example would be Miss Universe Philippines. Yes. Oh <laughs> my gosh. So mali ako Miss Universe nang walang training. Kamusta oh. na, Mar? Diba? Joke, joke lang niya yan dati. Na, oh, kapag ako sumali ako ng Miss U. Tapos parang, oh my gosh, madam. Oh nasa my Miss gosh, ako. Ganun. Ganun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, say yes because number one, you need the push. You you will always need the push naman. So say yes to it and figure it out. If anything, honestly guys, I don't have the confidence na parang ito kasi yung mga sinasabi, like I guess feedback I have gotten. Sabi, ano ba to si Ayin? She's overconfident feeling niya kaya niya makipagsabayan dun sa mga mga pagentera ganyan ganyan. Honestly guys, the confidence is not from feeling na ka-level ko sila sa pasarela or sa modeling. It's not confidence doon. It's confidence in my ability to figure it out. Kasi ang daming beses ko na nilagay sarili ko sa mga posisyon na parang, ha, ano na yan? <laughs> Maaaral ko ba yan? Naaaral. Naaaral Most siya. Most things, naaaral siya. So, I don't have confidence na I'm better or I'm more beautiful or whatever. I have the confidence <laughs> na I can learn. What I don't know, I can learn. If yes. I can't learn it yet, I can give time. I can put in the effort. So, say yes to the opportunities waiting for you. Tapos panindigan mo. Totoo. Just Saka maraming, maraming mga, I, now I realize that I have said yes to a lot of opportunities kahit takot ako. Mm-hmm. Kasi madalas, yun yung naghihinder eh, sa halos lahat sa atin. Na kapag takot ka, parang ayaw ko na lang. Ganun. Mm-hmm. Pero I realized, people tell me na, oh, you're such a risk taker. How do you do that? Parang, saan galing yung tapang mo? Lagi kong sinasabi, madalas, when I say yes, when I go into <laughs> things, takot ako. <laughs> yeah. Pero lagi ko na lang sinasabi sa sarili ko na, um, paano ba natin to magagawa? Okay, I said yes. How will I live up to my own expectations? Ganon. How do I train for this? How do I figure it out? Because it's mm-hmm. tama kana na naaaral talaga lahat. Um, because there are many opportunities that if you don't take them, they won't come back. And when yes. is it? And it will also lead you into regret. Na, yeah. Sobrang ayaw ko mong yare. Madalas. Same. So, I always say yes to things as long as, alam mo yan, parang you're also logical and alam mo yan, parang alam mo sa sarili mo, hindi, kaya ko to eh. Kahit takot mm-hmm. na takot ka talaga deep inside. Yeah. Katulad ng pag-yes ko sa podcast na to, madam. I am so, a podcaster I was, now. I was so scared. I was so scared of, oh my God, si Ayin Bernos, si Katto sa YouTube. Paano ko siya? Paano ba? Mag-live up ba ako sa expectations niya? Mga ganon. <laughs> Maraming fears in life, mm. friends. Marami kang takot na madadaanan. Marami kang fears na, marami kang desisyon na nakakatakot i-take. Pero you have to take it anyway. Kasi yeah. it just means, if, you're, if you are fearing something, it just means it's important to you. Yeah. If you fear it, you probably care a little bit. So, gawin mo na. Kasi kailan pa, madam? Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> hey, okay. Lesson number four. Okay. Sayo, madam. Uh, lesson number four ko. Ano ba? Hmm. Ito. Ang lesson number four ko is a quote from Gretchen Rubin's The Happiness Project. Binasa ko talaga niya, yun! Yes, yes, Yay. madam. Um... One of one of the greatest lessons for 2021 is one of the best. Sabi niya, one of the best ways to make yourself happy is to make other people happy, and one of the best ways to make other people happy is to be happy yourself. So mm. I would really have to agree with this. Na dapat ikaw mismo sa sarili mo 
you choose to be happy, you make yourself happy first before ka makapagbigay ng happiness sa iba. Before ka makatulong sa iba. Before ka maging generous and kind sa iba. Dapat generous and kind ka muna sa sarili mo. Yeah. I thank you, Char. <laughs> <laughs> Ang ganda nun. But it's really true. You know, it's a it's a cycle. It's a cycle of happiness. And we need to keep that cycle of happiness going. Kasi when you are taking care of yourself, making yourself happy, then you have it in you to give. And you have it in you to to be the source of happiness for others. And in turn, napapasaya ka rin nun eh. I mean, sino bang hindi sumasaya pagka nakikita nila yung loved ones nila na masaya, di ba? So, um, if you have the mindset na, I know pursuing my own happiness is selfish but really like you can be the best daughter best sister best partner best wife best husband best best friend if iko sarili sa sarili mo masaya ka um i think um we cannot give something we lack so don't feel guilty about chasing your happiness and pursuing your happiness because That is of paramount importance. Okay. So speaking of, you know, we were talking about people, making other people happy. I learned this year na people first. So no, since 2020, one of my struggles was like keeping the business afloat and off to afford um, paying my employees. And paying my the people that I work with, you know, the independent contractors, yeah, you know, the suppliers. Um, pero ang importante talaga ng people first. Like I've I've probably had losses because I've put people first. But now looking back, I really don't regret any of them. For example, like replacing replacing a shirt that was damaged because kasalanan namin. Like I mean, or sometimes it's. Meron nagka miscommunication. Pwede ko naman ilaban na eh binayaran niya yun eh. Wala na, wala na refund. But I guess dun sa mga early stages na yun, uh, putting people first, especially like the people I work with, um that paid off kasi yung pera I was able naman to figure out how to work around it, you know, like okay, how can I make more money? How can I adjust these things? Pero maintaining and really giving importance to the people who help me build the business that's priceless um anything you invest on people they come back uh pero ang broken relationships that's difficult to repair it's like if anything like my biggest regrets in life are like the the bridges i've burnt because i wasn't you know attentive enough or i didn't pay much um attention or time these are my relationships na yan. but at the end of the day yun nga, like people people are really the most important asset and not like a in not like a a material asset but more of like you need that in your life. So, pahalagahan mo yung mga tao na nasa paligid mo. They are important. They're more important than money. They're more important than than fame, popularity. They're more important than status. Um, at the end of the day, if you have people in your corner that you can trust, people in your corner who root for you the same way you root for them, I think um, mas malayo yung mararating kasi iba talaga ang support ng tao. Totoo, sobra. Um, people also equate to clients. People also equate to your team, your family, your friends, your boss. Mm-hmm. Uh, alam mo yun, parang always be in a place of gratitude na yun nga, they are in your corner. And if you really invest time and effort with them kahit hindi na money eh kahit hindi monetary may walang monetary equivalent yeah plus that you invest your energy your time sa kanila it will alam mo yun it will snowball and parang babalik din siya sa inyo tenfold and mm-hmm. yun talaga yung ano eh uh ano ba one of the secrets to success to always be to always have people first. Mm-mm. 
Kasi ano talaga, sila talaga yung pinakamagsusupport sa iyo, your community. Actually, kahit nga yung pet mo. <laughs> Lawa <Yes>. yun. <laughs> yeah. Ay, nako. Emotional support is Emotional support. number one. Last message to our community. Ah, uh, okay. Ano ba? Oh, I would like to, ano ba? Oh, ay, eto, being in a place of gratitude sa community natin. Kasi we will never ever be here without your support. Um, isa to sa mga nag... That, isa to sa mga reasons na nag-fuel sa amin ni Ayin to keep on recording. Aside from, ay, alam naman natin na weekly reset namin to. Pero yeah. kasi yung joy na... na nagko-communicate kami sa inyo, mga madams, yung support nyo. We see all your messages, we see all your comments, and we are very happy to grow with you. I love your messages telling us na parang, oh, you know what? You are our staple kasi I like growing with you, madams. And we also love growing with you, my friends, mga yes. madams. We feel like we are... Alam mo yun, parang very much bonded, especially sa community, sa YouTube comments, Instagram stories. Alam mo yun, parang maraming maraming salamat. It yes. has been a great 2021 because we have you in it. Magsisimula na naman ang bagong taon. So hopefully you guys can stick around. Um, thank you again for all of the messages that you've been sending us. And we're also very, very happy when you share your wins. Kasi, you know, there's nothing like celebrating your win. It's truly the best thing in the world. Um, being able to see how much you've grown and having the ability to celebrate that. So we are celebrating with you. And hopefully in the coming year, you are also excited to chase more goals, pursue happiness even more and grow our confidence so we can be our best selves. So thank you, Mama Dam, and Happy New Year! Thank you. We love you, Madam. Mwah, mwah, mwah.